Hey CS Dojo, in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to lists in Python. The list is a type of data, just like strings and integers that we've seen so far, and it's used to store a list of things. And it's similar to arrays in some other languages like Java. So let's take a look at one example here. To define a list, you can just write a equals open square bracket, three comma, 10 comma, minus one, close square bracket. And this line means define a new list with the elements 3, 10, and minus 1, and assign this list to this variable a. And just a quick note here that you can download this sample file by going to csdojo.io slash python4. And another quick reminder that you don't necessarily have to use Jupyter Notebook to follow this course. You could use, for example, PyCharm, which is a good IDE for Python. Now let's run the cell, and once we run the cell, a should be defined. So let's print a with print parenthesis a, and we see that we get a list with the elements 3, 10, and minus 1. What if we wanted to add an item to this list? You can do that with a dot append parenthesis 1. This means append the item, the number 1, to the list a. So this dot notation is a pretty common one, and you'll see more of that later in this course. So this function append is basically a predefined function that you can use on the list data type. So again, that's a dot append parentheses one. Let's execute this cell. And once we print a, you see that the number one has been added to this list. So one interesting thing about the Python list which is different from some other languages like Java, is that you can mix types in a single list. So you could have a list containing numbers as well as a string. Let's see how that works by appending the string hello to the list a with a dot append parentheses, double quotes, hello. And let's print that with print a, execute this cell, and you'll see that this list now contains hello the string as well as the numbers. A list could even contain another list. So let's see how that works with a dot append square brackets one comma two. So this means create a new list with the elements one and two, and then append it to this list. Let's see how that looks with print parenthesis a, and let's run this cell. And now you'll see that we have a bunch of numbers and then a string, which is hello, and another list within this single list. Okay, what if you wanted to delete an item from this list? For example, the last item. To delete the last item, you can do a dot pop parentheses. So we're using the dot notation again here, and pop is another function that's predefined for the list data type. And that's why we can just write a dot pop, open parentheses, close parentheses. And to see the result, you can of course print a and let's run the cell and you see that a now has the numbers and the string but not the list because that's popped or deleted let's delete the string as well this hello string with a dot pop which deletes the last item of the list of course and then let's print a and you see that it now has numbers only now there are many other predefined functions other than pop and append on the list data type, but append and pop are two of the most common ones. Okay, what if you wanted to retrieve a specific item from this list? For example, the first item, the second item, or the third item. To do that, you can just write a square brackets zero, and this means retrieve the item from the list a with the index zero. And in Python, just like in many other languages, the index starts at zero. So the first item in the list has the index zero, and the second item has the index one, the third item has the index two, and so on. Okay, so we wanna print this item just to make sure we got the right one, but actually in Jupyter Notebook, you don't have to use the print statement every time. You could just write a square bracket zero here, and when you run this cell, you get the first item in the list. But to keep it consistent, and also to make sure it works in any other platform, for example, PyCharm, I'm gonna use the print statement every time. Okay, what if you wanted to retrieve 
the fourth item, this number one. To do that, you can just do a square brackets three. So the fourth item has the index three, and then let's print that and we get one. And what if you wanted to change the content of this list? So what if you wanted to change this number three to 100? To do that, you can first select that item with a square bracket zero. That's the first item in the list. And then you can assign a new number or any new value to it with a square bracket zero equals 100. Let's run this cell and then let's print A again with print parenthesis A. And you see that the first value of this list is 100 now instead of three. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a quick exercise problem to practice what you've learned so far. Let's say you have a list with three strings inside. So you have B equals square brackets, double quotes, banana, comma, double quotes, apple, comma, and then Microsoft. Can you swap the first value of this list, whose index is of course zero, with the last item of this list? Before I show you my solution to this problem, I'm gonna show you a model you can use for thinking about a list in Python. When you have B equals banana, apple, Microsoft, the way you can think about it is that B is going to be sort of like three boxes put together or one giant box, one long box with three compartments. And each of those compartments acts like a variable. So each of those refers to a value. In this case, the first compartment refers to banana and the second element refers to apple and the third element, of course, refers to the string Microsoft. And I'm gonna show you my solution. First, write temp equals b square brackets zero. So we're defining a new variable called temp for a temporary variable, which is going to refer to what b square brackets zero refers to, which is this one. And then you can write b square brackets zero equals b square brackets two. So we're saying the first compartment should now refer to whatever the third compartment refers to. Because like I said, the index for the first item is zero and the index for the second item is one and the index for the third item is two. So after this line, the first compartment or the first element will now refer to what the third compartment refers to, which is Microsoft. And once you have that, you can write B square brackets two equals temp and the third compartment now will refer to what temp refers to, which is banana. As a result, after these pieces of code, we have the desired result. So that's a list with the first compartment referring to the value Microsoft and the second element being Apple and the third element being banana the string. Okay, let's make sure that method works in code. First, print the current list with print B and we have banana, apple, and Microsoft. Just like we saw, we'll first define a temporary variable with temp equals B square bracket zero, and then assign the value of B square brackets two to B square brackets zero, and then assign what temp refers to to B square brackets two. And then at the end, we're going to print B. Okay, that's correct. We have Microsoft, Apple, Banana now. And actually there's a shortcut for this and that's B square bracket zero comma B square brackets two equals B square brackets two comma B square brackets zero. Let's see if that works by printing B. And once we print B, the first element and the last element should be swapped again. So we should get the same list as the first one banana, apple, and Microsoft, and that's what we get. So this is definitely a valid way to swap two variables or two elements within a list, but don't worry too much about this particular method. Okay, just a quick reminder, you can go to csdojo.io slash Python4 to download the sample file. And the best way to support me would be through my Patreon page, and you can find that at csdojo.io slash PAT. Okay. I'm Waike from CS Dojo and I'll see you guys in the next video.